when I was in jail just recently, and like people was writing me, a lot of people was writing me, and they was like, yeah, um, Keith, he got this song, 300, and Soldier Boy just did the remix. That's when I was like, man, when I get out, man, I ain't finna play around no more, fuck, you know? Fuck that shit, I'm going straight straight in, you know? As soon as I got out, man, I went to go grab me a, a, what, a fifth of Remy, a box of blunts, and went straight to Q Crit. If you holding on that work, I take you down. I take you down. My little niggas with the shit, don't play around. Don't play around. We see with that chopper, hold a hundred round. Yeah. So, so with the shit, he let them gun sound. I'm Fredo Santana from GB300. Probably when I was in like about third grade, I was just a fake fake rapping in the crib. I ain't tell nobody until I got older. And by like, like after high school, like about when I stopped going to school, that's when I just started freestyling on the block, you know? Like the first person who got us in the studio was, was DJ Ken, a Japanese guy who moved from, you know, J Japan to Chicago. And he moved in our neighborhood. And like, he was doing, he was making beats and we was hearing him and, you know, he told us he do music and Keith went, was doing music with him first. First, I used to always make up excuses when we used to be like, Keith was like, man, we finna go to the studio. I right, no, man, I got some little females coming. Man, we gonna go later on and never go. Well, no, nah, wait till I say, oh, a couple more bags. Wait, just wait. No, and never go. And it's, I never go, I always used to make excuses. But then when I seen him, Keith taking it way more serious than me. So shit, maybe I should start taking this serious. Then that's when, you know, everything in progress. Like Chief Keith, like his grandma and my grandma and sisters, and his grandma is my auntie. So that makes him my cousin, like we's a real cousin. It was like, I always felt like, I right, I'm gonna be a rapper, but I feel like I can help Keith more. Like, let me help him more. Let me push him more, you know? He was rapping in was 11, you know? He was making beats, he was doing, making graphics, all type of shit. So I was really wanna focus on, on myself. I was more focused on like Keith and his career, like. But it was already, it was like, we was already like the forefront of Chicago, like before that, like, me and Reese, like a lot of people knew us from the streets, like oh, Reese and Fredo, you know, like, oh yeah. So people already knew us, but then that just made these, like, oh, they rapping now? Cause they're where we go. They was like, um, I just seen you in that video, man. Thanks, woo, can I get your autograph? We ain't got nothing but, you know, some YouTube videos. But everywhere we went, every day, all day, and I was like, shit, it's getting bigger. Then all my family, then I noticed how people was acting different. My little niggas, yeah, they reckless. On that game banging shit, throwing up sets, bitch. You disrespect this, then you next, bitch. I call it suicide. Yeah, death wish. No sex, bitch. Like 300, it came from the blocks, you know? Like, just as well as like GB came in, like OTF, O Block, you know? It's like, it represents like the names of our blocks, you know, from Chicago. All us together. That's how I make GB, you know? By all us coming together, you know? I mean, I was listening to, listen to Bum J, he from Chicago. You know, and he was different, especially back in the days, like, other gangs weren't even listening to other gangs, you know? He was like a four corner hustling, like, the whole city of Chicago was listening to him. That's what made us, us different, like, everybody listening to us, no matter the gang, what you in or not. I can't really get to my fans like that in Chicago. It's kind of difficult, because, like, the fans want to see us, and then, the police, like, they shut events down and all that. Because it's kind of everything starting to get new, you know? It really was not no real hot Chicago rappers, you know? It ain't just GBE rapping. It's a lot of other rappers in Chicago that's rapping as well. A lot of other producers, a lot of other video directors. It's everything, you know? It's like a big old industry now, you know? I see everybody feel like they can do something with their life. They feel like they can just, you know? They can accomplish something, you know? Like, they like life actually worth something, you know? Like, you know, back then, everybody feel like Chicago all my life, you know. I didn't remember sale drugs, you know. Well, I ain't gonna be nothing but another game banger going to the Fed joint, you know. Hundred percent, I already know what he's going through. He know it too, cause I, I, he was just talking to me on the phone, you know. So now I'm talking to him, and it's kind of weird, you know. In jail, you got you gonna learn from that. Learn from anything. Uh, when he get out, we going crazy, man. He already know what time it is. We gonna turn up. Yo, what up? This is Fredo Santana, GB300. I'm here with Blow Hip Hop TV.